Hey guys, today I'll be walking you through how to set up the Logitech Wingman Formula Force GP wheel on this uh, Forza Horizon 4 game so that you can play with the uh, force feedback and all the control of the pedal. And before we get into how to set this thing up, uh, one thing you need to know is I'm setting it up with a separate controller. So you need to have another controller in your hand um, that work, works on PC. Yeah, if there's anyone who know how to uh, combine the button in the Emuel, Forza Emuel uh, without having a secondary controller, please let me know in the comment below. Hey, hey guys, it's surprised to see how many of you still using this wheel now today, but uh, um, some people have some question about how to set this wheel uh, up for the Forza series, like Forza Horizon 4, for example. So today I'll be working through all the pro process that need to be done to use this wheel with force feedback with the pedal. So uh, now I'm going to demonstrate uh, what normally will happen uh, if you just uh, straight get into the game and try to set this wheel up. Uh, go into wheel and uh, for some reason at the very beginning it's not showing up the, the wheel layout and you what you need to do like if the slot for you is empty you need to click it and hit on the uh, arrow key on your on your keyboard and it will find it will eventually showing up the option so yeah I, I was stuck at there for quite a long time try set it up natively right here I I have all my driver installed so this wheel is actually working and let's do accelerate push the pedal and it recognized brake push the pedal and it recognized it as well so ah so far so good i can just just uh use rewind uh, yeah now you're basically out of button let's try if i can use my keyboard to cover it up uh, let's see my keyboard doesn't work doesn't work because it's the not the same controller even for my uh, i i got a xbox 360 controller uh, let, let's try let's try remap it doesn't work so it need to be on this wheel but uh, since this wheel don't have enough button you're not going to set all the thing through so what you're gonna do now and what I'm going to demonstrate now is that you can actually use software called emu wheel uh, emu wheel can let you uh, combine multiple controller together the game will think that you are using one controller, but you are actually using two. I'm going to show you how it runs. And then I will walk you through the process how to set all those things up. I muted both the device that I mapped and I'm launching this wheel. So I click start. So now that system thing, I'm using one giant controller with many buttons. Yeah. And uh, for the demonstration, I'm using my xbox 360 uh as you can see it's a knockoff controller uh combining with my wheel okay so now i'm getting into the game as you can see this is one of the one of the uh ongoing problem with the email wheel is that xbox 360 controller it's like you cannot mute this controller so uh, it will have some control input conflict so that I'm basically just keep using the keyboard as my main input which is it's okay like the game let you to do that like you can you can just use multiple control you can use your uh, keyboard and then switch your switch to your wheel but somehow you cannot be mapping like that so I don't know why they do did it but yeah it's kind of confusing at first because you see the mo all the input can be recognized but you cannot map them in one like one profile so yeah that's kind of kind of kind of suck I set up I set it up with the uh, email open 
and let's see how, how it works yeah so as you can see uh, my steering wheel works and it give the uh, force feedback as well and uh, yeah like you can switch this is uh, you can but the although although the uh, Forza have like the worst turning animation of all the racing game they only got like 90 degree but e it's but I try to match it with my wheel but not successful it just it just doesn't work it, the, the turning animation cannot be matched even though like I have the same <laughs> same rotation limit as this wheel but you cannot match that so I won't suggest using this this one so that you can enjoy your race yeah so uh, basically all the thing works like even upshift downshift with my paddle but like with my shift button and yeah like I put my e-brake on this button it, it works and the rewind over here rewind over here and yeah Oh, but I didn't have the start button set up. But like my horn, yeah. Can you? I don't know if you can hear it or not. But yeah, that's my horn button right there. So yeah, it works quite nicely, I would say. Okay, so for now I'm going to walk you through the progress process to set up the Emu wheel. First, you Google. Emu wheel. You went in there and you download the latest version of the Emu wheel, which can be found right here. There's a setup guide you need to be followed. So for the guide, uh, basically you just need to follow all the step right here. So first you need to make sure that uh, your Windows version is up to date, and then you download and install the latest build of WeJoy, and then you run the configuration configure vjoy uh, after you install the vjoy you can just search for the configure vjoy and then set it up like it's set and then then you need to download the latest version of the Forza Emu wheel, which we already did. So I basically uh, unzip it on my desktop, run the configurator, and now uh, this is the part you set, like you combine all those buttons. Yes, and for this set of wheel, your throttle and brake need to be invert. This is basically my setting. And uh, this is the controller. That's the knockoff Xbox controller right here. I just uh, use the D-pad on the controller and the four button on the controller so that I can map it uh, in the game, but not using it actually during the game. I just put it there so the computer thing my my will have enough button. But uh, I'm not using those. I'm using my keyboard instead. After you set them all up. I'll just save and then close this thing and and what it does is it generate a file called configuration.json and then you yeah, basically you're good to go you just launch the whoosh it will ask you for the permission and then you basically mute the controller you have setting up like you've been using during the configuration open like run the Forza Emu wheel if everything goes well you will see the success and Forza Emu wheel is ready to start then you click start now you can open the Forza Horizon uh, they, they may be maybe a way to set it up without having a secondary controller uh, but I don't I'm not sure about that 
like if you're having more trouble you can do some research online but this is how I set my wheel up and yeah let's go into options controls like uh, as you can see like maybe maybe your setting here is empty so you just keep clicking the right arrow on your keyboard till the setting set up like show up and uh, and just set it up normally so now now let us set up like let us set the uh, auto setting up um, accelerate brake steering e-brake switch camera radio next I will put it uh, somewhere here so you now now it's recognizing my my gamepad activate oh, let's put star uh, I don't know maybe up I don't know, just because I'm not using those settings so rewind here pause I just uh, whatever because you since you'll be using you'll be using the keyboard it doesn't matter where you put it on the gamepad you're not going to be using that and activate Anna uh, sure pause sure quick chat activate ready next oops so now multiple button be using anyway and uh, yeah what else oh yeah and then the shift up shift up and shift down shift up I'll be using the back button here shift down back button here and the horn right here now we're good to go so now you can save your setting play and after you're setting up all the control there's an advanced button right here yeah so I put my vibration and mouse free look I'm on and inverse force feedback off and uh, yeah I'll just let you maybe you can you can pause if you want to see the detail of the setting I'll just show you right here mm, you're good to go yeah. enjoy your your uh, Forza 4 with force feedback so that's uh, basically it thank you all for watching hope you guys can uh, like if there's any more question please comment down below so I can reply I, I see all the comments and enjoy